Hey y'all, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Thank you for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes to all of the new subscribers. Welcome to the family boo. We laugh, we cry, we uplift, we comment, we share, we enlighten, we grow, we ascend, we prosper, we win, okay? Um, for those of you who would like a personal reading, that information can be found in the description box, okay? This is going to be for the entire month of July, okay? Um, I know a lot of signs are going through situations where the past is coming back. Everybody, because it has something to do with this retrograding energy. It also has to do with clearing karma. And so my biggest question to all the signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio is what did you learn? Did you learn? Did they learn? Okay. What are you what are you going to put into this? What are their intentions? What are they going to put into this? Are we asking the right questions? Are we getting clarity? When these people are telling you something, is your damn stomach burning because of the lies? La, 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 lies. Okay, what's really going on? So I decided this is um, <laughs> a little series for all signs that I'm going to be doing. Because hell, I'm curious myself because I'm trying to beat their ass away with a baseball bat. Okay, this is imaginary. Don't worry, it's not a real one, but um, like. Mocha the X Slayer, okay? Um, so we finna rock in. So this series is called What You Gonna Do? What you gonna do when they come for you? How you gonna act though when they come back though? Have you thought about it? Some of y'all are really thinking about it because some of y'all are manifesting them because you're thinking about it so hard. Okay? But some of y'all is kinda like a premonition type thing. Uh, kind of like, what's that movie called? Final Destination. You've seen it for a damn game, okay? And you are running like hell. Kudos to you, sis. Can I borrow your Nikes? Let's get it. Flexing on my exes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Flexing on my exes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Your exes just be wanting you by day. And some men won't love to. But the ones who didn't learn their lessons. What the hell you learned about you? Yeah, yeah, exes. <laughs> Flexing on my exes, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Flexing on my exes, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Cause they coming, okay? Cause they coming. Exes. Some are, and some ain't shit. All over the globe. But we're going to figure out what the hell is tea for all of my signs. Starting with Aries, Aries. Let's get it. Here, for the month of July, somebody please, pretty please, time stamp. Pretty please. So that someone who is not, um, well, I'm not, I, I forgot I wasn't doing this shit live. But can y'all please time stamp, okay? Help a neighbor, tag a friend, okay? Um, yeah, everybody don't get to see the video right off the bat. Some people, and you're meant to see it when it's meant for you to see it, okay? If this resonates and some of y'all scared as hell and you need that reading, description, hit me up, okay? Let's get it. All right. Aries, spirit. What can Aries expect in the month of July when their exes come back? What can Aries expect for the month of July when the exes come back? What can my Aries expect? Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What can my Aries expect? Ooh. Aries, 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 Aries. Can my Aries expect? Who can my Aries expect? Okay, ain't that some? All right, 
Aries. A lot of y'all can expect the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of y'all could expect the Cancer, a uh, Aries. Um, Sagittarius, okay. I don't know if I said that first, but they in the building. Oh boy, all right. Aries, a lot of y'all are healing from three party situations, so you will not be accepting, expecting your, or accepting your ex back if it was any of those people who I named or if they had any of those signs within their rising or moon sign. Strong emphasis on the Venus and the moon, okay, and the sun. But, um, y'all, I feel like a lot of y'all are healing from a three party situation. This could have been with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could be expecting them back who put you in three party situation. A lot of those people, if you have an ex that is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they are still in that three party ass shit, okay? Some of them are. Some of them are coming back to their past, okay? Some of them are walking away from their past, but some of them are returning back to their past to fix things, not just with you, but with somebody else, okay? So some of them, some of these people got a backup plan, okay? If you got a water sign coming from the past, y'all, they got a backup plan, okay? Um, I do see for some of y'all who moved away from your past completely, especially if it's emphasis on the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person is still crying over spilled milk, okay? They are not seeing... Um, the beauty and the things that's still in front of them, okay? They're kind of focusing on the things that happened in the past, okay? If it was a three-party situation with this person, okay? They're not really moving on from that. You've moved on from it. They have not, okay? So they may come back with that energy. But even though they haven't moved away from that energy, even the person with this three-party shit, they don't. They just want to hang around. They want to just be in your energy. Why? Why? Okay? For some of y'all, y'all have an Aries coming back or somebody with that in their moon or rising, okay? For some of y'all, it's definitely a Sagittarius, okay? And they want to come in and they want to communicate, all right? They want to come in and tell you something, Aries, okay? All right, so let's let's see. How are my Aries act? Give me two cards. How my Aries act? What they going to do? What they going to do? How the Aries act? Okay. Aries, a lot of y'all are going to be going into introspection mode. Some of y'all are going to be very analytical, okay? Some of y'all are going to fight y'all selves internally. Some of y'all, there might be a physical, this person, and you still not getting along, okay? For some of y'all are dealing with a fire element, y'all could still be fighting, or you could be fighting this person. Aries, spirit is telling you to say that you get more bees with honey. If this has to do with children, okay? You get more bees with honey. This person wants to stick around and fix something and they want to communicate that with you, okay? And they're bringing balance back to your life for some of y'all, okay? Uh, for others, use your discernment, trust your intuition, and trust your gut feeling. What you feel first did not lead you wrong, all right? That's why Aries, a lot of y'all going to pull back. Some of y'all gonna fight the change, but this person gonna stick around regardless, and it's due to it has some type of balance connected to it, okay? But some of y'all y'all could be dealing with a Taurus or Virgo as well, all right? Let's get it. That's for my Aries. Next up, Taurus. Next thing, my ex is what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I'm flexing on my exes. Thank you, Spirit. This is a Taurus. Who is coming for Taurus? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Come for you. That's my favorite point. So every time I get to that point, I ain't gonna lie, I might get a little extra. Taurus. <laughs> who is coming for Taurus? All right, but well, who is Taurus going for? Vice versa. Some of y'all could be going towards somebody. Right. Taurus. Okay. Some of y'all are wanting, some of y'all got somebody coming in, especially if it's another earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself, to uh, give you a new beginning or offering you a new beginning, a passion. New beginning. Some of y'all could be getting, um, some of y'all exes could be a fire sign. Or some of y'all could want to offer a new beginning to a fire sign, okay? Some of y'all want to create something with this person, create something with this person uh, for abundance, okay? For Taurus, I feel like Taurus, y'all strictly focusing on y'all money. Some of y'all are having new babies, and some of y'all have a earth sign coming in to want to, I feel like they wanted to bring the passion back for y'all to start over, okay? Um... Some of y'all are just really focusing on your money. For those of you having new babies and some of y'all are pregnant by somebody who's an ex, okay, I feel like um, 
This is definitely somebody from your past, okay? But I feel like this person either makes you feel burdened or this is you feeling what makes you feel burdened. Their return is either making you feel burdened or you feeling burdened by someone else, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, or they're feeling burdened by you, Taurus. Especially if you're pregnant and you didn't know the fire sign, I feel like there's burdens in this relationship. There could be a practical beginning. There could be a new start, okay? There's a lot of emphasis on fire and earth, okay? Uh, Taurus, some of y'all could be pregnant by a fire sign that gets on your damn nerves and maybe you moved away from this person and start focusing on your money and hit their ass come. But I feel like they're going to bring burdens back to your life. For some of y'all, um, you have someone who wants to communicate to. They want to move forward with you to create something to move abundantly. Or this is you. There's a lot of fire energy here. Some of y'all could definitely be wanting to start something new and practical in a family situation. If you have a family situation or family dynamic already that's already here, you're not pregnant. You could definitely be starting a new passionate beginning or offering a new passionate beginning with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that you already have children with. Okay? Um. If this is not uh, you who have kids already, some of y'all could also be allowing um, a fire sign to come back and see your life in Rich Leo Sag and they going to burden the shit out of you. Okay, and I feel like they did that before. But what you going to learn? How you going to stand up for yourself or speak up for yourself this time? Okay, for some of y'all who are uh, experiencing money issues um, or some of y'all, somebody could be communicating to come in to help you, Taurus. Uh, I feel like it's a fire sign. I feel like this energy is going to be kind of in and out. So whatever they give you, take it, all right? Don't fight yourself, all right? But whatever it is, they definitely come in and he goes some old fucking fire energy. Whatever messages that you're waiting on from this person, because I feel like Taurus waiting. I know some of y'all could be delivering this, but... Um, the energy is safe, Taurus. It's safe. Now, what you... Let me see what's... It's safe, but for that fire sign, you know what I'm talking to? If you're thinking about fire sign, if they burdening you now, they're going to burden the hell out of your ass later, okay? Let's get it. If they burden you before, they're going to burn you now, All right. What my Taurus going to do? What my Taurus going to do? My Taurus, a lot of y'all going to try and turn around the situation, okay? Watch out for this snake. Watch out for them snakes, Taurus. Keep your grass low. All right, watch out for them snakes. You have all the resources that you need. You have knowledge. You have love. You have um, I'm sorry. You have the coin. Okay, you know how to communicate this. All right, so I feel like yeah, some of y'all are going to be turning around the dynamic with an Aries. Okay, some of y'all could actually be a boss. So some of y'all could have an Aries coming back to you. Okay, this is somebody who feels left out in the cold by you. But some of y'all, this could definitely be another Earth sign who you walked away from or who walked away from you coming in to communicate. They may give you some that some of them they may even walk away again. But take it, I feel okay. Some of y'all got an Aries coming trying to turn some things around. Okay, and for some of y'all in the month of July, somebody's going to get pregnant, okay? And it's going to burden someone. It could be by another earth sign as well, all right? Some of y'all feel like whoever's finding out they're pregnant, you wouldn't worry. You wouldn't ready for this baby. But this person, whoever is coming back, they're offering you help. Take it, all right? Hey, that's what my Taurus going to do. So I got my Tauruses. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who after Taurus? Camp. No, I ain't cancer. Gemini. My Gemini. Yeah, Gemini. Yeah. What's up, Gemini? What's up, baby? What you gonna do when they come for you? Yeah. <laughs> Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. My messages. What is Gemini? Who's coming for my Gemini? All right. Who is coming for my Gemini's? Who is coming for my Gemini's? Hello. All right. Gemini. All hell could be finna break loose, all right? I feel like if you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? I feel like this person is definitely someone who you have children with or who you uh, had a family dynamic with in the past, okay? I feel like this person is wanting a fresh new start. And you do have an ace here, okay? So I do feel with this ace of wands being here. For some of y'all, this person is coming to bring your life opportunity, okay? Or you could be having a, a passionate new start with the fire sign, all right? For some of y'all, it's definitely a Leo, okay? Some of y'all... um 
X could have been a Leo in the past, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all had a strength. Gemini, y'all really looking good on the board. Whoever coming back to y'all, they got their mind right. First off, you got the strength card, the ace of wands. And the Ten of Cups. So, Gemini, honestly, y'all looking good. The only thing that's not looking good here is this power moment. So, some shit got to fall, okay? And some shit got to fall. Some shit got to fall in order for some shit to start. For some of y'all, y'all are definitely going through possibly court issues or it's having to do with karma, okay? But allow situations to fall because y'all have some beautiful energies coming in to flourish, all right? So if Gemini's were worried about a situation for somebody coming from their past, I'm going to be honest with you, you ain't got to worry about it too much. But before I speak too damn soon, let me clarify. All right. Spirit, why is this strength card here for my Gemini's? Yeah, definitely. Secrets, okay? So some of y'all could actually be dealing with a Leo. This Leo could come in and they could still be keeping secrets, okay? But the secret, I feel like for some of y'all, this Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, the secret is y'all both been proud for the shit and this person actually wants to get it off their chest, okay? Uh, Gemini, y'all could also be dealing with a Pisces. Some of y'all are having strength with dealing with a Pisces, okay? For some of y'all, y'all wanted to start something new. Y'all are passionate about something, but some of y'all are going to be uh, having a Pisces. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius like yourself, a Leo come in or a water sign, another water sign come in. And this new beginning that you wanted to have with somebody, maybe in the past they did some sneaky ass shit, okay? Uh, but I strongly feel like this person is wanting to start something new, but Spirit is telling me to tell you don't trust them, okay? Some of y'all could be stalking um, or have someone stalking you, a, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe someone that you have children with, where maybe in the past it could have been happy, a happy time, but this person is a sneaky motherfucker. And some of y'all, um, y'all definitely didn't the Pisces that y'all could be or cancer that y'all could be finding out some secrets about or could have found out in the past okay maybe y'all walked away from somebody some of y'all snuck away this person is wanting to come back and start over however I do feel like Gemini a lot of y'all walked away from y'all past a lot of y'all just said fuck it I'm done with it okay but in the meanwhile some of y'all are thinking about a person or a person is thinking about you and they're definitely stalking you especially if you have children with this person all right or a person that you have children with if you're dealing with them now someone from their past is definitely stalking you I don't know why I'm supposed to say that too, even though they ain't got nothing to do with you, but watch that shit, um, because it's urgency on that one, um, but, um, if you have a Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person is, is still, they still communicate immaturely, okay, they still on their sneaky shit, your intention is beautiful, Gemini, but this person, not so much, okay, so, what is Gemini gonna do, what is Gemini gonna do? What is my Gemini's going to do? Some of y'all are not going to make a decision. Some of y'all are going to deal with two people. Uh, some of y'all are going to juggle somebody straight up, okay? For some of y'all, this is what you manifested. This is what you wish. So take the damn offer, especially if you're dealing with um, a water sign. But it don't necessarily have to be a water sign. I feel like for some of y'all, but this strong emphasis on water, though. But if, I feel like, some of y'all are wishing to move forward, okay? You don't want to make the decision with nobody from your past with the family situation because honestly, that's not what the fuck you want. You really want to make a stable, um, practical, take a practical offer uh, from a younger Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay, or someone from your past who maybe didn't offer you much, but now they've made a decision. Now they actually want to come in and start something fresh. So for some of y'all, this goes 50-50, I feel. For some of y'all, run like hell. For some of y'all, embrace, okay, and have strength through whatever it is that they're communicating to you, okay? Because for most of y'all, y'all can move forward, but it's a handful of y'all watch them up others, especially if you're dealing with air or fire, okay, or water. Alright, so that's my Gemini. My Gemini. Alright. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come on you? Cancer snacks. Let's see. Cancer. Flexing on my exes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I forgot to do my extra. Let me do it again. What you gonna do when they come for you? Yeah, that was my shit. I, I used to live on cops, okay? Don't judge me. Let's <laughs> cancer. Who's coming for cancer? Oh, who's coming for cancer? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Who is coming for cancer? Okay. Okay, so. Yeah. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. Cancer. A lot of y'all in y'all head too much about the bad things that could be coming towards your ass. You don't, some of y'all definitely could have a Capricorn coming towards you. Some of y'all could have another Cancer coming your way. Okay. Uh, for some of y'all, it's definitely a Gemini. All right. Some of y'all, um, a Gemini is in the building. Cancer, a lot of y'all are ending cycles. Okay. Y'all ending karmic cycles. Okay. Karmic cycles to go into new cycles, okay, with new people. So if you're dealing with somebody now who is toxic as fuck, a lot of y'all got this Gemini coming in or whoever was trying to come in in the month of June, in the month of July, they will be trying to definitely step in, in the month of July, this month, they are coming, okay. But a lot of y'all, it is another cancer for uh, a lot of y'all is definitely a Gemini. Yeah, uh, this person, cancer, um, I feel that... This person is mature in the way, this Gemini is mature in the way, okay, that they're communicating with you. Communication was an issue in the past, okay. Um, this person is definitely going to be communicating better. There will be a, a turn in the way that you communicate with somebody. Cancer, but some of y'all, this Gemini is coming back to cut y'all off. I'm going to be very honest with you. I see that too, okay? So some of y'all, this Gemini is coming back to cut y'all off. And honestly, it's to end again, to even out the karmic debt, the karmic score. For some of y'all, y'all are ending current situations possibly with the Capricorn or a very toxic, toxic ass person, okay? But you're dropping the burdens on this person. If you're dropping burdens, if you just recently quit dealing with somebody, okay, I feel like it's the end of that cycle. You're going into a new one. It's time for you to drop the burdens. And it's soulmate season. Drop those burdens and drop those blockages so that your soulmate can come in. For some of y'all, cancer, you can have an earth sign coming in. And their whole intention is to leave you out in the cold. I feel like somebody's trying to even the score with you. Strong emphasis on the Capricorn. Like, I literally feel like for some of y'all, y'all traveling to somebody just to leave them out in the cold. Cancer, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of y'all like, up, oh, gotcha, bitch. Or some of y'all will be leaving someone out in the cold, okay? And this person. Some of y'all, this person ain't trying to hear it, especially if it's an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, especially if it's a fire sign, they ain't trying to have it. But, but some of y'all are dropping a new burden and going into new cycles with fire signs. So if it's a fire sign coming back, this person is definitely a soulmate to you. And I feel like y'all are cutting off the old ways y'all did something to begin a new. Okay? Y'all are cutting off the toxic portion of y'all relationship. All right? So what is my cancer going to do? What is my cancer going to do? My cancers. My cancers. I called y'all Gemini. Gemini, some of y'all could be going through this too. My, my bad cancer. Right? I'm putting some respect on your name. Okay? Alright, so what is my cancers going to do? How are my cancers react? Cancers, a lot of y'all will be having patience, okay? Some of y'all, y'all may be getting cut off by a soulmate, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all going to feel left out in the cold. It's definitely cancer feeling left out in the cold, okay? Feeling rejected, okay? But I feel like this had to happen to get rid of the toxic and the burdensome portion of your relationship, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all definitely got a Sagittarius, okay, coming in the mix or Pisces. So some of y'all, y'all going to be patient towards the situation. Some of y'all could definitely have a tourist traveling towards y'all too. And I feel like this person is coming in to assist you with healing and um, ending that cycle, okay, with whomever this person was. Definitely, a lot of y'all going to be feeling rejected, okay. Um, some of y'all got, some of y'all are feeling rejected, are going to be feeling rejected by a soulmate, okay. So whoever is coming in, cancer at this time, be careful, especially if you're dealing with Gemini, because they're coming in. Possibly they can come in beautiful. It can be a sweet dream or a beautiful damn nightmare with Gemini, okay? So be discerning, okay? Trust your intuition. If this is you going back toward that person, it's literally to uh, cut, off the, cut off the toxic energy, okay? Drop the burdens and actually start a new cycle with someone, okay? For some of y'all, y'all ending y'all karma cycles and ending cycles or ending lessons with someone, having patience with yourself, okay? And just knowing that there is someone that is going to come to you, okay, to start this cycle, this beautiful cycle in a new but some of y'all have to work out karmic shit from your past okay and end things with the gemini I see people cutting off the capricorn or capricorn cutting you off but some of y'all are dropping your burdens around the fire sign some of y'all are feeling rejected by it but have patience because new love is coming okay some of y'all can find out you got a lot of options okay not all love miss bull not all love miss gray some of them is bullshit but it's up to you to be discerning all right let's get it 
all right to you. 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 Who's right 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 What's going on? Right. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Cause they coming, okay? Leo, need to read for Leo spirit. Yeah, Leo, y'all got a lot of options. So whoever's coming towards y'all have a lot of options, okay? For some of y'all, even though you have a lot of options, someone who you have a family with who could have walked away from you or you walked away from them in the past. They coming back, Leo. Some of y'all gonna try and hold y'all family together, okay? Because you know this is my soulmate. Some of y'all definitely dealing with Gemini. Y'all was in their shit. Now you now they look they in your shit, okay? Some of y'all is definitely a Gemini. Some of y'all is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you already have children with, okay? For some of y'all, it's a lot of damn people, all right? Let's see what the hell they want. And for some of y'all, uh, y'all trying to hold a family dynamic together. I feel like if you have a family with the earth sign, okay? Or whoever you was trying. Some of y'all got a very controlling person coming back. Whoever was controlling this fuck, I feel like they're an earth sign. Here they come again, Leo. All right? But yeah, some of y'all is definitely a Gemini, but this person is your soulmate, all right? All right, let's get it. Okay. Some of y'all got a water sign coming back from your past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? They coming back to make things right with you. I feel like in a relationship in the past, there was no reciprocity. Some of y'all are trying to hold on to somebody. And some or got somebody trying to hold on to you by using the legal system, okay? For some of y'all, it could definitely be a Libra doing this shit, okay? It could definitely be a Libra trying to come back and hold on, especially if they were kind of, I ain't going to call them narcissistic or whatever, but this is some narcissistic behavior that I feel before me. If somebody is being spiteful towards you, Jim, my Libra Aquarius and using the um, the court system to do so with you, Leo, or this is you having to go to court to try and hold on my pay, uh, possibly to a family dynamic, but you knowing that you have to do right financially by a person, that uh, that will be uh, communicated, okay? But I do see at this time, Leo, you're definitely going to be getting some of y'all trying to hold on to y'all family, keep y'all family dynamic together. And I feel like in the past, you tried to hold on. Maybe you got cut off by this person, okay? But I feel like y'all are going into a new cycle. Y'all ending one cycle to go into a new So the way that you used to do things is not how things are going to be going at this point, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a Gemini or this is surrounding a Gemini, Leo's. Just know that this person from your past is coming back to offer you love, reciprocity, as well as karmic justice. So for Leos, what you need to do is open your heart and receive. And if you don't want none, then tag me, please. Because I promise I won't run from the shit, all right? All right, Leo, so that's what I have for you. And let me see, what is Leo's going to do? I got to know, what is my Leo's going to do? Spirit, what Leo's going to do? Some of y'all gonna some of y'all gonna, gonna gonna get it together and go into that new cycle. I told you if you don't want to then tag me please. Okay. Let's get it. I'm proud of you, Leo. Look at you, Leo gang. Definitely some of y'all are definitely gonna nurture. Whatever it is that you started, I feel like if some of y'all started something in the past, this has to do with something that you're trying to create. If you started something in the past, nurture it, Leo. It's going into a new cycle, okay? Success abundance is soulmate season, okay? Nurture nurture the nurture their relationship. Nurture, be that great wife, be that great mother. If the opportunity presents itself for a start over Leo, definitely with open arms. Nurture that. Especially if you're dealing with it uh Virgo Taurus Capricorn because they're trying to nurture you. Some of y'all definitely got a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius stopping y'all. And for some of y'all, this goes to one of them. Ain't any shit options down here, a bunch of options. If it's a Gemini Libra Aquarius that's younger than you, cut their ass off because they only they, they want to stalk. They don't want to talk. And then when they do want to talk, they don't know how to hear the talk right. All right. So let's get it. They don't know how to hear the talk to you. Better watch what you say to me. Hey. Hey, hey, you better watch what you say. Tell them, Leo. <laughs> All right, so who is next? Who after Leo? Vertigo. Hello, Vertigo. Flexing on my exes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Flexing on your exes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Let's see, Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what do you have for my Virgos? Okay, well, you know what? Let me get in the break. I ain't like that. 
Okay, what do we have? Come on, where'd it go? Come on, come on, come on. Who coming back? Who trying to come back to where'd it go? Who they going back to? What's going on? Where'd it go? Okay. Virgo, y'all have a person want to start a soulmate. Some of y'all, damn, that car fell out over there in that big. But I thought because it was fresh, it wasn't meant to fill out, but it fell out, but it came out in this big too. So, Virgo, some of y'all got a Gemini. Some of y'all are trying to nurture your relationship with the Gemini. Start over, bring the passion back, start over fresh, okay? I feel like secrets came out. Shit hit the fans, especially if you was dealing with this Gemini, okay? I feel like either you did something to betray this person or this person did something to betray you. I feel like you found it out in the month of June. Some of y'all came to terms that somebody is your soulmate in the month of June. And I feel like maybe a betrayal happened. This person moved away. If they're a Gemini, they are definitely coming back, okay? But some of y'all who are trying to nurture your relationship, start over with an earth sign. That person could possibly be coming back. So they want to water their own damn grass, okay? Especially if you had a family dynamic already, they want to water the damn grass, all right? Um, well, some of y'all definitely have an airy field badge coming in to try to start something fresh with you as well, Virgo. So let's get it. Passion in the beginning. Passion in the beginning, okay? So, give me some clarity here, please. For my Vertigo, what is this part? Yeah, some of y'all got a Sagittarius or a Pisces trying to come back. Strong emphasis on Sag. Uh, possibly after, after finding out from the trail um, regarding an Aries, okay? Um, but some of y'all, y'all soulmate is coming back, okay? And some of y'all, y'all gonna try and hold on to this person, okay? This person doesn't want to lose you and you don't want to lose this person. If you're dealing with an earth sign, if you're talking about an earth sign, this person wants to hold their shit together, okay? But some of y'all, or whoever this is, whoever them signs that I called out, because Aries is in the building, Sagittarius and Pisces is in the building, Gemini is in the building, okay? Um, it could be any uh, other air sign as well, but Gemini is strong. And some of y'all got a Gemini coming in very fast, and they want to work shit out. The, old, the overall energy on y'all, Virgo, is whoever is coming back, they actually want to hold on to you. They're not trying to go. They're trying to work past... Um, and they're, t they're making the first step, okay, and trying to work past, uh, getting past this uh, betrayal. This was an Aries that caused you betrayal. This person knows that you're their soulmate. They're going to communicate. They're trying to come back and work it out with you, okay? You want to hold on to this relationship, and you will be able to, okay? Uh, for some of y'all, it's definitely a Sagittarius. Some of y'all started something new with the Sagittarius, okay? And some of y'all maybe walked away from this person and wanted to, but Spirit is telling even though this person may have made you feel betrayed, especially if this person has Sag and Aries in their chart and Gemini somewhere, work it out with this person. Hold on to what you have, Spirit is saying, okay? Hold on to what you have, Virgo. All right, for some of y'all, this had to happen, okay? This had to happen to end the cycle, okay? Some of y'all could have actually been ending the cycle with someone who you're dealing with, and this is why this person is coming back, okay, and coming back around for you. I feel like if you're dealing with a new person, okay, you did this new person came back to end an old cycle of who who was in your old life, and what, who was it, who, what you was doing in the past, okay? This person is coming back to begin a new cycle with you, okay? All right, so some of y'all are going to end the cycle with someone, or the way that you used to do things, the way you choose to handle a situation, okay? And water your own damn grass. Kudos to you, Virgo. Hold on to what you got, okay? Yeah, some of y'all some of y'all got somebody coming back that's still going to leave you mentally and emotionally trapped. Some of y'all, that you're not going to get all the clarity that you need from this person uh, uh, regarding that betrayal around an Aries or a Gemini, okay? Uh, for some of y'all, they're going to give you a beginning, okay? You got a Capricorn Toys Virgo that walked away from you in the past, okay? They're coming back with a lot of passion, and they want to hold on to what they got, okay? For some of y'all, um, y'all are trying to hold on to a, um, or try, trying to start something over again with the Sagittarius, okay? after finding out some or Sagittarius is doing this with you after finding out some information regarding the Aries but to be honest with you this person even though they're your soulmate they're going to come back to you but they're still going to bring you they're still going to leave you in this uncertain ass energy okay but some of y'all some of y'all are going to be uncertain about which way to go. Some of y'all are going to just hold on to what you already have, even though some of y'all are holding on to karmic partners and you need to let that shit go because new is trying to come through, okay? Let's get it. That's what I got for my vertigo. Vertigo, vertigo, vertigo. All right. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Virgo, yeah. Some of y'all need to hold on to what you got. Some of y'all uh, need to ask the right questions, okay? Thank <laughs> you.
Who's next? Who is next? Libra. Oh, Libra. Give me the energy. Thank you, Spirit, around Libra. 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 Give me the energy around Libra. Okay? Libra, someone is coming back to you, okay? They still don't know. They're coming in, and they're going to come in very immaturely, okay? They, they, they're offering a little love. They ain't offering the love that you deserve. I feel like this is somebody who betrayed you in the past and left you feeling betrayed and left you with no clarity, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. I mean, I'm sorry, air sign. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because there's a lot of air in the building, okay? Now, I feel like some of y'all can have a water sign that's coming back, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, y'all, but they still immature. They don't know how to love you the right way. And I feel like you're dealing with a water sign too. This could be somebody who, uh, in your past, um, made you feel betrayed, okay? And they didn't give you any clarity. Maybe they left without clarity. Maybe this person cut you off or communicated fucked up. They coming back and they still communicating the same jacked up. You better tell me you better watch what you say to me. Straight like that. Okay, because yeah, some of y'all are healing possibly from a water sign. A water sign that you had to heal from. Uh, this could be another air sign again. You might be Aquarius. You heal from the situation. Maybe this person is healing from the situation. Maybe if you're thinking about going back to them, Libra, they ain't happy. Some of y'all had a Leo coming back that left y'all feeling betrayed. Um, I feel like communication is coming from this person. If you're waiting for communication to come from this person, it's coming. It ain't gonna be how you want to hear the communication, Leo. I mean, Libra, Le uh, Libra breaks. Yeah, some of y'all could definitely have be going through that with a Leo. Okay. Um. Libra, if someone left your life, if this is another air sign, okay, and this person comes back communicating ugly, let me first tell y'all, y'all are ending the cycle with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are ending the cycle with um, a Leo as well. Some of y'all are healing from a, uh, from a karmic cycle as well with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of y'all don't know if you want, some of y'all don't know if y'all want to move forward and keep dealing with the shit because you're really tired as hell, okay? You're tired. I, I, I'm not going to keep doing this, all right? I'm, I'm tired. And you're not going to talk to me stupid and I'm over the shits, okay? And for some of y'all, it's the person of your dreams, but you got to cut this person out to move forward. And for some of y'all, a lot of y'all is going to move forward with Earth. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all may move forward with this uh, with this Leo. However, y'all going to have to get past the deception portion first. And I feel like this person is not coming to bring you clarity. And for some of y'all, what the hell are you going to do? What have you learned? Because I feel like this is what they did in the past. They come in, they come out, they come in, they come out, but we don't get no damn well. We're understanding one another and we don't, we can't get past communication issues, okay? Um, what will my Libra do? So, Got you. Some of y'all, for some of y'all, some of y'all gonna take a leap of faith, okay? Some of y'all gonna take take a leap of faith and start something new. Some of y'all are gonna juggle. Um, some of y'all are not gonna even make a decision about anything. Some of y'all are just gonna kind of sit still and pray and go away. And I'm not gonna lie to you, that's not gonna work. You're ending a cycle. You need to end the cycle in order to heal from it because you got new love coming, possibly from an Aries. Some of y'all wanna make a leap of faith too, and. Make a leap of faith towards an Aries and start something new. I see that being prosperous, but you have to end this cycle and cut this other air sign. You're not leaving Aquarius off first, this Leo, or this damn um, water sign because the communication here sucks, all right? Don't let nobody belittle you. I don't play that shit. Y'all know it, Libra. I don't like to see that shit. Don't let nobody come in and belittle you. That's all right. That's what I have for my Libras. Flexing. Libra, you better flex all on your exes. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do when they come for you. Shit, okay? All right. That's what we got for my Librans. Scarpio. Let's get it, Scarpio. Flexing on my exes. Or what you going to do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Flexing on my exes, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Scorpio. What is that? Thank you, Spirit. All right. Scorpio. All right. Uh, I'll try to remember, but I don't like reading reverses, but you know what? Spirit said they need to reverse, so I'm gonna. All right. Okay, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. 
a lot of y'all are was possibly either you left a left a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in the cold. Okay, a lot of y'all are wanting to go back and offer love to that situation or offer your love to this person. However, I don't see you coming out of the cold with this person. If you were uh, dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay, a lot of y'all, um, Scorpio, I feel like. <laughs> Y'all want this person to go on about their damn business. Instead, they're offering you love and they're trying to materialize a new beginning with you, okay? But I feel like some of y'all are going to materialize a new beginning with the Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Taurus. However, um, you want to come out of the cold with this fire sign. And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Scorpio, a lot of y'all missed y'all chance, okay? Uh, this could be the fire sign doing this to you, but definitely every Leo Sag is coming. Some of you... Some of y'all wanted to have a blended family of some sort with this person, okay? However, um, I feel like somebody's not coming out of the cold because there's a lot of pride. There's a lot of pride in these cards. But with this five of pentacles in reverse, I feel like somebody definitely, like, like there's a foot in the door, but there's a foot outside, too, okay? And this could have to do with a fire sign. Like, you really don't have the clarity, even though there is love in the situation, Scorpio. I feel like you're not really fully coming out of the cold with this person. You definitely that should go again. The Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sash. Some of y'all could have an Aries Leo Sash coming back, or you going back to this person to give love to this person. And this person, I'm going to be honest with you, Scorpio, they coming and they sitting pretty. They on their throne in both decks. Both decks, okay? So the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, you know, could be a lady or man. You're definitely wanting to give love to a fire sign. However, I feel like you need to there needs to be passionate communication with this person, Scorpio, because I definitely feel like some of y'all who wanting to get out of the cold, you're not coming out of the cold from this person, okay? And that could definitely be a three um for some of y'all, we have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's wanting to start something new with you. However, they have three-party energy around their ass. For some of y'all, y'all wanting to materialize a situation with someone who put you in a three-party situation in the past. But there could be a new start, Scorpio. But I feel like instead of starting something new, you need to finish what you start. If this is not your energy, this could be the energy of this fire sign. Some of y'all could actually be thinking, some of y'all, oh shit, some of y'all could have walked away from somebody due to a child or possibly do somebody that could be pregnant, okay? You could be have, some of y'all could have someone pregnant, which is why you didn't completely walk out of the cold with this person, but some of y'all are sitting in stagnant energy with a fire sign for damn sure, and it looks like that's what it's going to be um, for the month of July. Some of y'all are going to stay stagnant and not get past the three-party energy, you or the other person, but I feel like this is Scorpio because the King of Cups is showing his face and the fact that this Queen of Wands is sitting pretty in both dicks. Scorpio, this could be you returning to someone. If it's a fire sign, I feel like you can get your wish, but you know you're going to have to sacrifice yourself. Some of y'all, this could definitely be an Aquarius after you get past this shit and get past the situation and this energy, if you can or if you will, okay? Uh, some of y'all could also have an earth sign who puts you in a three-party situation that could be having a baby by you, but you wanted this Queen of Wands, okay? Or you don't know if the, situ if the baby is even yours or vice versa, because I'm feeling a strong emphasis with these children, okay? But some of y'all, maybe you want to get something off the ground in the past with a fire sign or another water sign of a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but I feel like there's a lot of turbulence around the love, and I feel like some of y'all could also be having a baby by this water sign as well, but I feel like y'all love is communicated childishly, like it's, it's childishness. And I say that with love. Scorpio, what you gonna do, okay? You're gonna give love. Scorpio, some of y'all are gonna sacrifice some of y'all are actually gonna compromise and actually go in this situation with uh without somebody is definitely coming back to you with some three party energy too, okay? If you got a Gemini Leap or Aquarius coming back that you want they wanted to materialize with you in the past, okay? They coming back this time and they offering you love, but they also not telling you that they're gonna put you in some three party ass energy, okay? This is around air signs, but if this is a, a, a family dynamic with a fire sign, I feel like a lot of y'all are wanting to get y'all wish. Some of y'all are manifesting it, but those cups, you see these two cups, you see the two cups that she's pouring out? 
Some of y'all gonna get y'all wish in a two in a in, in, in a soulmate relationship, okay? Think about this is the two of cups. You get what I'm saying? She has two cups that she's holding. So some of y'all can help y'all win, get y'all wish in a situation. However, y'all gotta either close that door where y'all foot is in or someone around you and your energy has to do this with you, okay? Because with this three-party energy, it's not getting off the ground as much as you want it to come through. So if you're going to communicate with somebody, especially if it's a cancer as well, Scorpio, I think you need to first clear your past before moving forward, okay? And what I see, what I mean by this is some of y'all are not really closing the door on your past. Instead, you're going to move forward with it and then move forward somewhere else. And it's going to, it's, 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 it's not going to shoot the shits, okay? It's, it's not going to move forward because it's starting off shock shit, okay? For some of y'all who are wanting to deal with someone from the past that's a fire sign, there's a lot of pride around this. And unless you or the other person is willing to stand up and be the bigger person to get past the actual root of the issue, I don't see it going anywhere, even though it has all the potential because both of y'all come through. You got the King of Wands, sorry, the Queen of Wands in both decks. You got the King of Cups, okay? The King of Cups came out in two different decks. So there's a lot of love between the two of you. However, y'all are not y'all y'all have to get past this energy. Somebody in the upright, somebody completely left somebody, okay? In this energy, somebody could have left somebody, okay? But they, that, you left your energy with that other person. That other, the person left their energy with you because I feel like this is somebody who, yeah, somebody could have been left on the cold, but there was no clarity given behind it. So nobody knows what the fuck happened. But I feel like even though your intention is this, you want to reunite with this person. You want a reunion with this person. I feel like you or this other person is not going to pull the other one off the cold because of how it was done. Period. That. Let's get it. That's what I got for my scarred bills. All right? Sagis. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Flexing on my exes. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? I have to get it out. Saggy. What is going on with my saggy? Flexing on my ex. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I get to you? Thank you, Spirit. Little messages around my Sagittarius. Who's coming for Saggy? Or who is Saggy going for? Who's coming for Saggy? Or who is Saggy going for? Okay. Sagittarius. What is going on in Saggy's energy? All right, so let me turn it. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, you can have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone who you possibly fought with in the past, okay? It's made you feel burdened. Some of y'all still feel like y'all got that monkey on your back, as a matter of fact, but it's time for y'all to make a judgment call. Some of y'all are going to be resurrecting something that has been dead for a long time, possibly with the past person, possibly with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? Or you could have a, pa a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a burdensome fire sign coming your way, okay? And the fire sign, I feel like, is trying to resurrect something from the past. And sadly, a lot of y'all is in the energy of completely moving away from the past. This could be uh, moving away from a perception of how you do things uh, with the past, people, places, and things. This could be just simply a perception thing, or it could actually be you just want to move the fuck away from a fire sign or a water sign. Okay? But some of y'all are definitely trying to resurrect something from the past. Some of y'all want this person is coming back for you to make a judgment call, whether to leave it or, or whether to work with it or let that shit die. Okay? So a lot of y'all are internally fighting y'all selves as well to make that decision. Okay? Um, but yeah, some of y'all, if you're dealing with or if you walked away from a burden from a situation with a Scorpio, okay, some of y'all are definitely going to be walking away from a Scorpio. Some of y'all are, are walking away from fire signs as well, like yourself, Aries, Leo, you know, Sagittarius, you're moving forward from that. Some of y'all are using y'all intuition to make a judgment call if you want to resurrect something. If you don't, I feel like definitely Spirit wants you to definitely trust your intuition on who you are coming forward, okay? Some of y'all, there is change coming to a, uh, to a situation or a dynamic with someone who you dealt with in the past, okay? Um, I feel like if you're dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, y'all finna cut them off. Some of y'all are going to be working at um, a new way of doing things with someone, especially if this is around earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or around a fire sign, it is Leo, Sagittarius, okay? So what is Sagittarius going to do when the ex come back? What is Sagittarius going to do 
What is Saggy going to do? Okay, Saggy is going to sit in their motherfucking power and what Saggy is going to do. For some of y'all, y'all definitely have an Aries Leo Sagittarius coming back. And some of y'all, uh, some of y'all are going to resurrect their ass and let them make it, okay? And actually try and work with it. Some of y'all are going to sit in y'all power possibly after, um, you're dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, um, who is coming back. Some of y'all are going to walk away feeling like this, okay? Uh, possibly dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Some of y'all are going to get some disturbing situation. Some of y'all are going to resurrect something. And in order to resurrect something, you're going to have to leave somebody else feeling like this, Sagi. But I feel like if this is a fire sign, strongly I feel like you've been waiting on this person. So some of y'all may be cutting off a water sign, leaving them feeling betrayed. Um, uh, to possibly move forward with a fire sign or earth sign and some of y'all is definitely Aries with the number one okay but some of y'all watch the people who you keep around you okay or maybe through this person keeps around them but y'all are definitely going to turn around a family situation possibly uh where there could be children involved Sagittarius okay so trust your intuition on what you know that you need to resurrect all right but y'all looking good Saggy. y'all cutting off uh, burden some situations, okay, walking away from other fire signs, possibly moving to another one. Some of y'all could definitely be feeling burdened by a Scorpio from your past, okay? Trust your intuition with that shit, because some of y'all are definitely going to cut that shit short, and I commend you if they're stressful. Why not? All right? So, that's what I got for my Sagittarius. Next, and you know my ex is what you're going to do. What you're going to do when they come for you. Flex, and you know my ex is what you're going to do. What you're going to do when they come for you. Capricorn. 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 Thank you, Spirit. What do you have for my Capricorns? What are my Capricorns going to do? My ex is trying to come back. Okay. What's my Capricorns going to do when my ex is trying to come back? All right. What is Capricorn going to do when my ex is trying to come back? Okay, for some of y'all, it's definitely. A situation that you're trying to hold on to. Sagittarius. I said Sagittarius. Sagittarius is in the building. Yes, they are. And so is Pisces. Okay. Um, y'all also are trying to. Someone is trying to come in and offer you um a new start. Something tangible. Something material. Okay. Take it. All right. Or this could be you offering this to a Pisces as well. Okay. You're being patient in the situation. Some of y'all have been patiently waiting for this person to come back for whoever this is coming back. Sagittarius. Say, so why do I keep calling y'all Sagittarius? Capricorn. Are y'all waiting on the Sagittarius to come back, Capricorn? Because they they definitely trying to hang in there with you. Whoever's coming back, they want to hold on to what y'all have, okay? Whatever this is, all right? Um, I feel like for some of y'all who's dealing with a Pisces, you're trying to have patience with a Pisces and offering them something. Maybe they're moving very slow and taking it, or maybe some of y'all have uh, y'all wanting a Pisces to offer you um Offer you a new beginning, okay? Some of y'all are hanging in there and being patient with the situation. Or hanging in there being patient, waiting on somebody to come back and offer you, okay? Some of y'all, uh, Capricorn is waiting on people to like, all right? Hey, man. Right. So some of y'all could have a Sagittarius coming back to put you in a three-party situation, okay? Trying to offer you something new. And some of y'all uh, in that in that relationship is very patient with that person trying to make help them get their shit together. Okay, some of y'all got a lot of options coming back, okay? One of them being an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Another being a water sign from your past trying to offer you something that could be this Pisces. And this could be somebody who maybe y'all didn't, maybe you were looking at all the negatives in, this, uh, in the relationship. Or maybe this other person is looking at the negatives because I feel like this is, this is a Pisces here. Crying over still making, this is what you did to me in the past. This is what you did. You know, maybe you put this person in a three-party situation and now you want to hold on to your family situation. But y'all have to discuss the old. Oh, so some shit got to crash, okay? Some shit has to crumble, okay, before you can begin anew, all right? I strongly feel like some of y'all could also be dealing with a Scorpio as well, but somebody's trying to hold on, okay? And I feel like Capricorn, a lot of y'all is trying to cut somebody off in order to go get what you want, all right? For some of y'all, y'all got a Sagittarius trying to come back or a Sagittarius trying to hang in there who put you in three-party situations, even though you got a lot of options coming back from the past. Y'all want the Pisces, okay? But this person cries over spilled milk. But I feel like there was never any clarity given to this person on what there was, what was needing to be said in order to hold on to y'all structure that y'all have, okay? So what is my Capricorn going to do? A lot of y'all going to hold on to y'all shit. A lot of y'all going to hold on to what you already have with a person, especially if you have 
a family dynamic, okay, with this woman. Some of y'all are trying to hold on to what you already got. Like, fuck the past. I'm going to hang on in there. Some of y'all are even hanging on in situations. Y'all doing breakup to make up with an earth sign, okay, or possibly a Pisces or a Sagittarius, who you have some type of family structure with, I feel. All right. Let's get Cappies. What are they going to do? Y'all going to hold on, okay? Some of y'all gonna cut somebody the fuck off. Some of y'all gonna cut off a of Sagittarius and possibly wait on this Pisces to get their most of the line right, all right? Or this could be the Pisces person cutting off a of Sagittarius and you're gonna try and hold on to your family structure as soon as they come on back, all right? Some of y'all, some of y'all are sitting in abundance, okay? Even though your money is good, Saggy, I said Saggy. Why do I keep calling y'all saggy? Cappies, okay? Capricorn. Some of y'all are standing in a three-party situation, okay? Trying to hold on to what you have, okay? Some of y'all could be focusing on your money, all right? And some of y'all could have someone, another earth sign trying to come in from your past, okay? And some of y'all going to cut this person off. Some of y'all like, hell no. There could be some change coming to um, a, a, a dynamic, okay, with a Pisces as well. I feel strongly if you have a person with this person, the towers have to fall in order for the beautiful to be rebuilt. Okay, and for some of y'all, some of y'all need to hold on. If you didn't with a three party situation, don't hold on to that bullshit. Run fast. I got some Nikes you can borrow. Okay, them the ones I'm really not using, but I will size mine so you can borrow them. All right, let's get it. Aqua babies, what's up, baby? Let's get it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Flexing on my exes, or what they gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Right, aqua. Baby. What do you have for my Aquarius for the month of July? Who's coming back for my Aquarius? Who's coming back for my Aquarius? Who's coming for my aqua? Whoa. Who's oh, okay? All right, I don't like that. Reshuffle. Who's coming back for my Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit. Aqua babies. Who's coming back for my Aquarius? Okay, who's coming back for my Aquarius? Aquarius is out of y'all at the end of your cycle, so y'all could have just recently walked away from somebody. Um, this could be a fire sign that could be coming back for somebody. A lot of y'all walking away from y'all past, period. Like, y'all don't even want nothing to do um, with the past. Okay, some of y'all are going to have another Aquarius like yourself try to come back or a, Gem or a Gemini or Libra, okay? Some of y'all are completely, y'all transform your ending cycles with people. Some of y'all are um, walking away. Some of y'all got a Scorpio trying to come back, okay? But y'all have completely ended that cycle with their ass. You turn your back on your past, you're not, you, you, you own your queen of swords shit. I'm going to cut your ass up with my sword. Whoever coming back, I'm going to cut your ass up. I'm ready to cut your ass up, okay? Aquarius. Y'all are wicked, wicked ready to cut somebody, okay? Um, but some of y'all have a cutting Gemini Libra Aquarius coming back. Um, this person has also walked away from their past as well as ended cycles, possibly with the Scorpio. So y'all have somebody from your past that was dealing with Scorpio, they coming back. Okay, some of y'all are ending cycles with an earth sign, Gemini Libra, um, Gemini, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, okay? Some of y'all, um... They go that Scorpio again. Some of y'all definitely cutting off the Scorpio. Some of y'all are transforming and y'all don't even want to look at y'all past. Y'all just cutting off everybody from the past, okay? Uh, some of y'all, <clears throat> some of y'all got a change coming to y'all family dynamic, okay? Um, but some of y'all have a change coming as in like somebody, if somebody had a baby on you, okay? Uh, Aquarius, they are finna show their face again, okay? Um, some of y'all are moving away. Some of y'all, like I said, most of y'all don't even want the past. Y'all turn y'all back on y'all past. Y'all want this new me, okay? I'm over it. I'm waiting on y'all. A lot of y'all are waiting on y'all shifts to come in. A lot of y'all are in this cycles with either a Scorpio, another Aquarius, or a Gemini Libra. Strong emphasis on the Scorpio because it came in both decks, but you see how this man is looking for it? I'm just turning my back on everybody from my past. I'm over it. Okay, Aquarius will to change in their life. I don't want nothing, nothing old. Some of y'all, after turning y'all back from y'all past, y'all have new love coming in. All right, and congratulations, Aquarius, on the new love, honey. <laughs> uh, snap, snap fingers, okay? But some of y'all have um, are starting something new. Uh, some of y'all are welcoming new children. Congratulations, okay? So some of y'all ain't got time to be worried about building from past. Some of y'all got an earth sign wanting to come in and build something with you. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or you could be wanting to go and build something with this person. But I'm going to tell you right now, Aquarius, 
whomever this is on this board, whether it's you or this other person, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio, y'all, they're not having it. They're going to listen to what you have to say. This could also involve a cardinal sign. Um, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, okay? Y'all are going to be cutting this person off or this person is going to be cutting you off, Aquarius. You want to start over. They do not. They want to walk away from the shit, okay? So expect for somebody to tell you, I'm done with that shit or this is you towards the other person. That's how you're going to handle that shit. I don't want to build nothing. I'm going to start over by myself and build myself. I'm going to work on me. I don't want to start shit new with you, okay? Some of y'all going to tell somebody just like that. Kudos to you, especially if you took that shit for a long time. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know, how long you think I'm going to take your shit? You want to be like, your mammy? No, I ain't even. Don't get me started. Don't get me started, okay? Last but not least, Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, baby? What's up? What's going down? <laughs> That's good, Spirit. What messages? Thank you, Spirit. What message do you have, my Pisces? Who's coming back from my Pisces? What they gonna do? What they gonna do when they come for you? Pisces being defensive towards their past. Possibly got a Leo coming back. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is in the building. Y'all being defensive, okay? This person is coming back, trying to have strength. And it took them a lot of damn courage to build up the nerve to come and talk to you, Pisces. Somebody ain't able to sleep if this is your energy. They can't eat, they can't sleep, Pisces, because you being so damn defensive. Stop being defensive, boys. Somebody very defensive could be coming back towards you. A gem, I mean, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, strong influence on the Leo. Uh, you could also have a, a younger water sign coming back towards you. Uh, somebody who's definitely younger than you. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's get it. Seven ones. Yeah, some of y'all are being defensive towards somebody who y'all have children with. Okay? You have a strength. You're trying to have strength in the situation. However, this person does not give you any clarity. Okay? Some of y'all are trying to have strength with a Leo who's coming back to still leaving you blinded. Okay? But some of y'all who are dealing with the water sign, this person actually wants to nurture you. They want to give you something. Um... They want to start a new beginning. Their love, I feel like the, whoever's coming back, this water sign is kind of new to love, okay? If you got an earth sign coming back, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this could definitely also be somebody who you have children with. Capricorn and Taurus is in the building. I strongly feel like this person wants to start over and give you love. They're having strength to even come deliver this message, Pisces. And I feel like they don't even know you more stressed out than they ass is. However, for some of y'all who dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's coming back. This person's still coming back, sneaking in the motherfucker. That's them. They still coming back sneaky. Yeah, it sound good, but watch them, okay? If you're dealing with an earth sign, this person actually is genuine and they want to build. Now, I feel like they're not going to tell you everything, but this looks like they're going to tell you about 95%, okay? What is Pisces going to do when this person comes back? Pisces going to hold it. If it's the earth sign, Pisces going to hold it together. I'm going to hold it. We're going to hold it together. So I feel, and I was going to say that you got a Capricorn towards Rego coming. This person wants to hold it together, okay? But some of y'all, you're dealing with a Libra, okay? Uh, I feel like some of y'all got, uh, some of y'all got some, some of y'all, the karmic skills have been balanced, okay? For some of y'all who dealing with this earth sign, this person is coming in to balance the karma with you. But some of y'all, some of y'all will be going towards the justice system, um, Towards uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong emphasis of Pisces is dealing with Libra. You're on their ass right now. Some of them may be getting a letter from uh, child support or some of y'all may be secretly divorcing somebody or this could be happening to you, okay? Uh, Pisces is dealing with, some of y'all got a cancer that's coming back in and they want to even the score. They want to fix it, Pisces, okay? They truly want to fix it. Let them back in, all right? I love y'all, all of my babies. This has been what you're going to do, what you're going to do when they come for you, okay? So when your exes come back, though, this is how y'all going to act, though, okay? So if this is, not a, oh, this is not a personal, okay? This was a general for the all of my followers, all of my collectives, and everybody else share the video, okay? But I would like to, um, first off, thank y'all for y'all time and y'all love and y'all supporting me, everything to me, okay? And secondly, again, if you need a personal reading hit me up i'm getting my phone fixed right now because it was doing some crazy shit i gotta go pick up my phone right now but hit me up if you need that all right while i was getting my phone fixed i decided i would kill two birds and one stone and record a video so here we go i love y'all my booze till next time Mwah.